I'm sure you have already heard about Docker containers. However, what is Docker? What exactly is a container? This video is going to explain the first step of getting started with Docker, which is installing Docker desktop on Windows, where you can start experimenting and running different Docker images. In this video, we'll be looking at what is containerization, what is Docker, installing Docker desktop on your Windows PC, and starting a simple Docker container, which will have the Docker tutorial to get started. Let's look at what is a container. Containers are a form of operating system virtualization. A single container might be used to run anything from a small microservice or software process to a large application. Inside the container are all necessary executables, binary code, libraries, and configuration files. Compared to server or machine virtualization approaches, containers do not contain any operating system image. This makes them more lightweight and portable with significantly less overhead. Let's look at what's inside the web application running in a containerized environment. At the base, you have the infrastructure. On top, on top of the infrastructure, you have the host operating system. And uh, uh, the, the usual way we used to run application is on top of the host operating system, where it has the, uh, the binaries and libraries and the application. And in containerization, you have the containerization software. And on top of that, you can have multiple containers with different applications or different, different multiple instances to cater huge loads. Now, let us look at what is Docker. Docker is an open source containerization platform. Docker enables developers to package applications into containers. Standardized executables components that combine application source code with all the operating system libraries dependencies required to run the code in any environment. However, Docker is not the only containerization technology. We have RKD, which is Rocket from CoreOS, LexD from the company behind Ubuntu, Linux vServer from Linux. Windows containers from Microsoft. Let's compare the virtual machines with Docker containers. We have the infrastructure, which could be a laptop, a desktop, a data center server, or a VPS, a virtual private server that you might have bought from Azure, GCP, or AWS. And then we have the host operating system, and on top of the host operating system, we have the hypervisor. There are two types of hypervisors. Type 1 is called bare metal or native. Type 2 is called hosted hypervisors. And then we have the guest operating system. And inside the guest OS, we have the binaries and libraries, which is required for the application that we need to run. Let's compare this with the Docker containers. Just like virtual machines, we uh, need to have the infrastructure, which could be a laptop, desktop, or a data center server, or a VPS, and the host operating system. And then we have the Docker daemon instead of the hypervisor, which provides the virtualization layer. And then we have the binaries and libraries that's required for our application to run. Here, we can see that the guest operating system is not being used. So there's a lot of saved resources. Let's install. But before we start installing, there are several system requirements for us to check. Uh, we should have a Windows 10 64-bit operating system, which can be Pro, Enterprise, Home, or Education. And the hypervisor, hyper-V, and container windows feature must be enabled. I will show you how to enable it. The following hardware requirements are, uh, are required. A 64-bit processor, 
4 GB RAM and the high virtualization support needs to be enabled in BIOS. So let's look at how to enable uh, Hyper-V in Windows. You have to go to run or search feature and it will show you a window to get to turn off windows features and here you can see hyper-v you have to tick this and click ok i have already added this feature into my windows pro i'm sure most of you have these prerequisites met so we can download the installer from this url Go to the URL and click download for Windows and this will start downloading the file and this will be 493 MB. I have already downloaded this file. So it will be like this and you have to double click and it will uh, ask for admin, admin privileges. You just click yes and then Uh, you have to tick both these boxes. Uh, the WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. It's a compatibility layer for running Linux binaries inside a uh, Windows system. And just click OK. And then once it's uh, completed, uh, it will request you to restart your PC. And uh, after restarting, you will get a window like this. You can close this and uh, go to the powershell just go to search type powershell then to check the docker version that got installed type docker dash dash version now you can see the docker version that got installed is 20.10.2 and to start your first image type this command and press enter now you can see by typing docker ps there is an instance running and it's open on port 80 so open your browser go to localhost colon you don't actually have to enter the port just type localhost and see now you can see the docker getting started tutorial running inside a docker instance that's inside your pc so play around experiment and let me know your thoughts or what help you require or support require when you get stuck now you have your docker running image as you can see by using docker ps you can see the docker images that are in your pc by typing docker images so that's the local repository and there's a lot of more docker commands that you could use that will be required when you experiment or work with uh, docker you can find that in this url which i will have in the docker in this video description thank you very much and thanks for your time please share your feedback through comments see you soon